hanging with the fellas looking for the cute chicks trying to find me all right good evening guys locks and load here i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh my class video but this is today and if you can tell by the box we got a new gun if you follow my facebook page uh, i'll put a little link down there so you can follow it i had posted a picture uh yesterday or friday on uh, the new handgun I got, I said what's in the box, and then later on I posted what was in the box. So here we are with our XDS 45, our 3.3 inch barrel, and we're gonna go do an unboxing uh, video so you know what you get when you purchase the XDS 45. So, okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna open up the box. Here's the contents of our box. We're going to start with the least important stuff. You have your little panel backing right here. We'll take that off. You got your books and all your paperwork, etc., etc. You know, uh, if you want your XD gear, you can do that. And all sits behind here. Take the panel, pop it in. Keeps all your books and everything nice and organized back here <clears throat> now getting to here we got your spent casing uh, so you know that the gun fires and yeah basically what this casing is for to let you know that the gun works with so far then you have your extra fiber optic sights for the the front side on your pistol, you'll see it when I pull it out. You got more papers, a lock with an Allen key, and a brush. Looks like a barrel brush. It ha you come with your dual magazine holster and your outside the waistband paddle holster. Talk more about those later. It comes with different back straps for the back of your pistol and this uh, little magazine sleeve to slip over your magazine speaking of magazines it comes with three magazines you have a flush magazine that holds five rounds you have this magazine with a pinky extension holds five rounds uh, real quick this is the sleeve I'm talking about, so it slips on like that if you want it to. <clears throat> and then it comes with this, a seven round with the magazine sleeve uh, magazine. So you get three magazines with uh, your pistol and the moment of truth. Here it is, XDS. 45 3.3 inch barrel two-tone looks real nice and pretty looks real shiny uh, it was previously owned as you see the owner before had put some talon grips on the pistol and the magazines so uh, whoever you are thank you because <laughs> I really like the talon grips I like the way these feel and this is the flush magazine I'm talking about I know it's loaded empty chamber this is just uh, just to show you guys right here. So that what comes in our box. And now I'm going to talk about each of the items and how they uh, benefit your purchase. Alright. So here is your dual magazine holster. It's supposed to be outside the waistband. It holds on your belt. So if you need to draw another mag, it comes out cleanly. Uh, looks useful. It's got Picatinny rails on the side. Why, I don't know. Uh, the same with this box. This box has Picatinny rails on the side. Uh, I'm not going to mount anything to my magazine holster or a gun box, but thank you, Springfield, anyway. But here is your dual. It goes right here. Your belt slips through, and it sticks right there on your waist on your preferred side. <clears throat> magazine sleeve, talked about it. You already know what it does. Uh, right here, the paddle holster. So, take it. Slip it in your pants like that. It's supposed to go along the curve of your hip. You take your firearm, which is clear and empty, and right there in your paddle holster. 
and it comes right out. Could be used for a uh, concealed carry, you know, if, if you had like a big jacket or like it was winter time or a hoodie to cover over it, it would come in nice. But for my preferred uh, holster, Concealment Express Carbon Fiber Holster for the XDS 45. Slips in there nice and thin and it suits me just fine. Here are your replacement fiber optic sights, just in case. The one here on your pistol, I have the red fiber optic sight. Just in case one of them comes out, you can replace it. Just cut off a certain length, replace it in here with your preferred color. I like red, red sticks out to me more. Uh, if you like green, they have green. And so this fiber optic sight, don't want to point it at me, but as you can see, Try to get it. There we go. That red really sticks out when you're trying to shoot. So that's one of the benefits of why I went with this pistol. You know, one of the best sights you can get stock. You get three magazines. You get a nice box. You get a paddle holster, a dual magazine holster, extra back straps, magazine sleeves, a lock, key, barrel brush. And all for for me, I paid about like four hundred dollars for all this. So for me, it was a great deal, and forty five ACP. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put the box away, and I'm gonna talk more about the gun and the features, and why I went with the XDS forty five over the other handguns out there on the market. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys is how to take down the pistol. So what you wanna do? Magazine empty, chamber clear good take the gun like the slide back to the real rear you have this lever rotate it up right like that 90 degrees then remember it's got a grip safety so you want to hold that release the slide you're gonna have to pull the trigger on this so deactivate the grip safety pull the trigger slide comes forward a little bit and then slides right off and now you have your recoil spring and your barrel. And now your XDS is field strip. And to put it back, you just do the same thing in reverse. Barrel, recoil spring, slide the pistol on the rails, take your lever, oh, sorry, lock it back, take your lever down, make sure the lever goes forward, then you go. And that's how you take down and field strip your XDS 45. All right, here is our pistol. Again, empty, no magazine, we're clear. So talking about the pistol, I have the two-tone finish. They had an all black, but knowing me, I like my gun to be a little more unique than just all black. So I went with the two-tone. I talked about the fiber optic sights. <clears throat> you got your three dot sights. Three dot sights, uh, two white in the rear. You got the red dot in the front. You have a loaded chamber indicator when loaded. So, safety first. As you can see, the little lever pops up. No. has the same type of trigger as a Glock. It's got the little uh, trigger safety right here. So even if you pull back, unless you pull this, depress this right here, the gun will not fire. On top of that, it has a grip safety. So even if you depress this, the gun will not fire unless this grip safety is depressed. So you have two safeties right there your grip safety, your trigger safety, and now the gun fires. So for me, that's having that safety feature, the grip safety, was a bonus. Most Some people say, I don't want a safety, I don't need a safety. 
I like my gun to have some kind of safety feature, but just one I don't necessarily have to train myself to uh, remember. The grip safety, you don't have to remember to train against that. <clears throat> it's right there on the grip. So as you come up and you grip that gun, you've already defeated that first safety of the grip safety. Now you have the trigger safety, but once you get your sideline, you pull back and fire, now you're good. So it's something I don't have to train myself to remember. I don't have a little lever here to flick up and down and uh, to remember to always do that uh, in the heat of the moment. I just pull my gun out and all my safeties are defeated in the act of me just pulling the gun out, gripping it, and squeezing the trigger. <clears throat> what else? What else? 3.3 uh, inch barrel. So this has a little kick to it, but not too much. It has an aggressive pattern uh, on the pistol. You can't really see it on mine because it has uh, the talon grips on it, but the talon grips do give me a nice sticky, grippy feel in my hands, especially when I'm wearing gloves. So the recoil when I'm shooting this XDS 45 in this 3.3 inch barrel, the recoil is very manageable. It's not that bad. It's kind of why I went with it. You know, I get a small, compact 45 ACP that I could even throw in my pocket right now, and you know, and I can get by with it. Holds five rounds, uh, one in the chamber, so six rounds. You have your seven-round magazine, so it gives you that nice, long full-size pistol grip feel. Excuse me. One thing I do like about this XDS though, uh, it has a positive magazine release, so look at that. It just pops right out. I was testing this in the store that even pops up upside down, so you know you're going to get a positive magazine ejection every time you hit this button. The magazine release is on both sides, so it's ambidextrous. Uh, the slide release and the lever right here, the takedown lever, is not ambidextrous. So, sorry lefties. You guys are going to have to figure something out. <laughs> Nobody ever really cares about the lefties. I'm sorry, guys. You got some stippling right here on the front of your trigger guard. Uh, you got stippling all around the pistol, as you see with these little cuts here. But I got the talon grips covering it up. You can change out the back straps, but I like the one that's on here already, so I'm not going to mess with it has a rail up front to mount a light or laser on it and it has a stainless steel guide rod uh, might replace it with a heavier one but as for right now it seems to be fine and that's really about it for talking about the outside features of the XDS 45 uh, it's a great gun you know I, I love the way 45 feels you know I'm in the process of moving all my guns from 9 to 45. I know I know the whole debate, 9 versus 45, I choose to carry 45. I mean, just look at this. I mean, this is some Remington uh, 230 grain FMJ, and this is some Federal Premium. Ah, oh, God. I left the bag in the car. Uh, but yeah, some Federal Premium uh, hollow points. I, I just love the 45 ACP, you know. It's one of the first guns I ever fired, uh, calibers I ever fired, my bad. And I, I just love the feel of the 45. It's not like a 40 where it's just like a pow and the heavy recoil coming back. It's more of like a slow push back, but at the same time, it feels like a handgun, you know. I don't feel like I'm shooting uh, an inadequate caliber at somebody. I feel like when I shoot a 45, you know, I'm shooting a, you know, a purpose-built caliber meant for stopping people. Now, I'm not going to get in the whole rant about it. This is about the 45. I'm just letting you guys know uh, what comes in the box. Uh, so far, I love the gun. I have no complaints. I'm going to continue to do more range tests. You guys are going to see a range video in the future, so check that out. But as always, guys, you know, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends. Uh, share the videos, uh, leave comments down below, and as always guys, be safe, have a good day, and locks and load out.